good morning everybody so not done one of these for a bit I've just decided to start vlogging uh, I've just started a new uh, or like a mini program really where there's a pro there was a program uh, designed well many many years ago and it was uh, originally I think it was called squats and milk and it was a real basic but it was, it was very very hard uh, simple but uh, definitely not easy and uh, it was you would squat three times a week and you'd do one set of 20 reps with maybe I think you start on about 65-70% uh, of your max one rep max and then you'd, um, you'd increase by I think it was something like five or ten pounds I think it was five pounds every session and then until you could do uh, couldn't do it anymore and I tried this uh, a couple of years ago and it worked really well for me um, and I decided to do my own uh, variation of this program uh, so I included uh, deadlifts in it and the way it works is you do you might do Monday and you, you alternate so you do squat deadlift squat deadlift so you do Monday Wednesday Friday so you'll deadlift twice one week and you'll deadlift uh, you squat twice one week and it's the same principle as you you increase your lifts by um, 2.5 kilos a site so 5 kilos in total every session uh, why am I doing this because uh, I'm just getting over a knee injury it's, it was a 12 month knee injury and it, it both knees uh, patella tendonitis and they're still not 100% but I started squatting heavy again recently and I managed to work up to, to uh, 210 kilo for a single and it's probably a bad idea um, because it was I think it was my second or third week back squatting and it's, it aggravated the injury a bit so I thought I'd dial it back a bit but I still want to push get the volume in and this this type of workout uh, these vlogs will be following for the next um, 8 to 12 weeks I'll see how how much I can get out of this um, but uh, the uh, the volume is, is very hard to deal with because I'm used to, to no more than like possibly eight, 10 reps max and I'm going for 20 um, so you might you might look at the weights and you might it's a bit of an ego check as well you might look at the weights and think uh, well I can do that no problem but <clears throat> the problem is when you get to maybe the 12 13 rep mark and you think yeah I probably should have started a little bit lighter so I've never had a problem checking my ego especially with my knee injury I'm starting off nice and light with that um, so I've deadlifted today and squatting on Wednesday so uh, yeah just keep following and we'll see where we get with this I'll keep posting up uh, my progress and, and you can see how I'm doing but uh, if you want to follow the program I'll put a template up uh, soon uh, it's very very simple to follow and for me uh, the strength training was always about it, it was never about um, hitting numbers I mean that's what I'm trying to do now um, but it was never about that it was about uh, getting rid of injuries um, and uh, I know that you can't completely uh, take away injuries especially when you're doing something uh, where you, you're training quite close to your top limit um, injuries are always going to be there but it's about reducing um, the risk of an injury and I think strength training especially for your sp stability of your spine and your core and all them structures that, that stabilise because in general most people most people who lift it'll either be like a shoulder or a, a back or a knee injury and the back injury in general for people even people who don't lift maybe uh, you know you sit at a desk all day and it's uh, your structures just get weak from sitting in that position all day it's not a natural position for a human to be in so for me I always try and promote uh, the strength of, uh, of the body for uh, reduction of injury uh, potential and um, that's a, that's another one of the reasons I'm doing this I like squatting heavy but if I couldn't squat at all you know that would be the biggest that would be the biggest heartache I think so um, obviously pushing yourself is, is 
for me is paramount. Uh, but um, sorry, uh, injury being injury free is paramount. Pushing yourself is is what I like to do. But um, you know, if you if you got injuries and you can hardly walk and you struggle getting out of bed. I used to have to sit on the stairs to put my socks on. I couldn't even reach my feet. Um, and this was when I was in my uh, mid twenties. You know, fucking sucks. So injury free. Getting back to the program. Got a bit sidetracked. Uh, I'll be putting a template up and, and uh, just follow. See how we go. Hopefully, the end result for what I've got. It's up on my Instagram. Follow me on uh, ni uh, prim 1987 Primitive. Um, but. Uh, it should get me closer, safely closer to back to to what I was uh, doing before I got the, the squatting injury, um, and that's the goal really. Uh, get there safely. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, guys. Peace out. Have a great day.